previously on Lukey at the Lynx, Pronghorn Edition. So the heart and soul of this golf course really is the back nine. The front nine is a great experience, but the back nine really is the lifeblood of this course. Like any great American novel, the beginning just sets the tone. The back nine gives you like a fable to live by. I hit a cut that went around those bunkers and in typical Mr. Nicholas form, I had a really hard shot in. I thought I hit this seven iron perfectly and went at this hole location. It hit right in front of the hole and bounced over and went into like a really hard swell, which kind of annoying, kind of why maybe people don't like Mr. Nicholas courses. I think you could see that. Misread this chip and it just, it wasn't as bad as it's gonna look. I just basically hit the down slope, but there was a huge mound in front. If you look right in front of where that ball is, is where my ball landed on my second shot. So yeah, hit a really good approach in. It wasn't the approach Mr. Nicholas wanted and I didn't get rewarded for it. On the 11th, super risk reward hole. So there is a bunch of sand in front of the fairway and you have a choice either go over that sand and try to give yourself a wedge in or lay back and have to hit a further shot obviously for my tee box i am not laying back we're going full big dog send i actually thought i went further but i elevated the ball a lot higher so that's what happened and then this is just what's so hard about pronghorn super protected green pull my wedge like I always do and then I had a sand shot which I hit well but it's just not gonna stop those wedges I didn't have enough spin on the ball and didn't convert the sandy but those bogeys really feel like pars because when you get knocked off balance at this course you really do 280 yard par four tons of trouble the only miss is right I'm taking three wood and I smoked this thing. I think I hit the cart path as well, but the line I was basically taking were the, at those Christmas trees and then hopefully I would pull it. That was my dream scenario. Instead, I went right at those Christmas trees and it must have hit the cart path or I just hit a really long shot and I ended up right here. The problem was I left myself with a short-sided chip uphill in front of a bunker. Not really much I can do with that unless I hit a sensational shot and then I had this putt which I will take that's a fine like I get you're supposed to go for those birdies but a downhill putt on a tricky golf course I'll just take the par so signature hole this is a really really cool golf hole water all down your right hand side waterfall at the end you pick a place where you want to aim and you just go for it I crushed this drive and there's no better feeling than crushing a drive and hitting it on the signature hole and feeling like you're in this beautiful landscape that's away from everything. It was just amazing. That's all the water that plays down the right hand side that probably a million Pro V1s. In typical Mr. Nicholas fashion, there's a bunker in the middle of the fairway so you can't just target the middle of the fairway. You have to have some some shot making ability and i just wanted to take out any chance of hitting it right into the water so i left myself kind of a long birdie putt but i'm fine with that and i left that clip in so you could see the waterfall that is part of this hole but got it down there and made par and that's that hole that's a signature hole really a great concept for a golf hole really fun that's the 18th hole that has that waterfall that runs by it and not unlike tethro i prefer these under these underpass holes these are kind of like my some of my favorite holes once again a par three and kind of a a generic par three that just has some bunkers that protects it anything short left on this day was fine and that's basically the yardage i played just stay left and make sure that I'm not taking too much club and I'd be within a range and I feel really good about that chip when I have a straightaway chip like that off a tight lie I feel like I can get that up and down pretty much every single time 
might not happen, but I feel that way. And I just converted that super easy par. That was like a no stress par. These next two par fives are really, really cool holes. This hole I felt like was much narrower off the tee. I missed right, but the line I took is actually totally fine. So just to keep that in mind for anyone that plays this in the future is it's deceptive how that bunker right there makes you feel like everything goes inward, but it actually expands from that bunker. And I actually hit the fairway, which I did not expect. Now this shot, I got lucky because the shot I was really trying to hit would have actually probably put me in a bunker, but it's so blind, I didn't really... So I was trying to cut the ball. I ended up hitting it straight, which that's always good. And there's just a ton of trouble up there. And I came up to the left of a bunker and a bunker in front of me. So I was like in the perfect spot. This is about a 60, 70 yard chip. And this shot, I don't, I wish I could have seen what happened because I hit that so good and it must have had so much spin. The only thing I can think is it hit the down slope and the down slope took some of the spin off because that was really spin, even the divot spun. And I just had to hit that 60 degree wedge because it was such a short sided chip, didn't feel good about it and converted a par, let's go. Super Lukey drive on this one. Crushed this par five. Really should have tried to cut the corner on this hole. You can really take on that bunker. I just didn't feel the courage to try that. But it's really, especially from the rust tee box, you can take that bunker on and just go for it. Avant-garde angle because I'm hitting this super Lukey three wood cut over these trees down to the bunker down there. You totally can't see it, but I pulled it off, and this was such a cool feeling. So I took on the trees, flew it over the trees, flew it over the bunker, and ended up on the green. Super awesome. And this is all the hazards you can contend with. There's a bunch of different Look routes. That's that. where I landed. So I was like, apparently, I may, or someone didn't fix their ball mark, but I fixed like three ball marks. I'd like to believe that's where I landed. And then I hit the worst eagle putt of my life. It's like, yep, super short. Didn't even give it a chance. And then this is the way that always works. Bad first putt, Drano for the birdie. So third Hard birdie of the day at, te at yeah, not Tethro, Pronghorn. Really, really awesome. And then this is the 17th. Tried to get aggressive. Probably should have taken the safe shot. And I was just a tad bit short and put it into the bunker. I fell for the sucker pin. I fell for the sucker pin. I should have just stayed out right and taken my medicine and tried to convert for par from there. Hit a really good sand shot, though. Won't lie. Just don't have enough spin to hold these greens. And didn't even ever hit that. Didn't hit it. Made bogey. La this is how you get to the last hole you go back over and as you had seen on the 13th this is the hole you were looking at and it has this signature ghost tree not unlike old mcdonald another great oregon course that's in the middle of the fairway and you get to see me che be cheesy i'm out here i take a wave for everybody hey it's me look i'm there kind of a little tourist golfy i've seen people take photos in front of that tree it's an iconic thing um a part of this course really difficult shot caught this thin i saw that when i was watching i didn't really catch it caught it thin and i took the wrong club because if i caught it thin and came up as short as i did i was not hitting the right club but this last hole is a very forgiving hole and i just played it wrong you know i just played it wrong i took the wrong club for approach i look up on that chip that's why it bounces still hit too hard but that was about an 80 footer so that was just can i get that ball to the hole didn't want to be short and then i tried so hard to make this and it just didn't thank turn you for watching this vlog i appreciate anyone who contributes or subscribes or even likes a video this is a passion project and i'm just trying to do the best i can 